Thank you. 
Is Jesus my Redeemer? There is no joy or heaven now to give. He is my joy, my righteousness and freedom, my steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. To this I hold, my hope is only Jesus, for my life is wholly bound to His. Oh, how strange and divine I can see, all is mine, yet not I, but through Christ in me.
security of salvation and the relief of our, our pain and our stress, our own anxieties. I think that that song, the, the poem that that song is made into. I, the third verse I love, no fate I dread, I know I am forgiven. The future sure, the price it has been paid. For Jesus bled and suffered for my pardon, and he was raised to overthrow the grave. You meet people who sometimes their greatest fear is just death, is dying, is no longer being able to remain alive here in this, this world. We don't have to fear death. For it was conquered. To be able to hold that type of security in your heart, to have that security, to be freely given to you, has got to be one of the most amazing gifts that any of us could ever imagine. And we can't even do that. So we can't really fully comprehend what was done. I cannot imagine what it was like towards the end when Christ was there and he knew what was about to happen. He knew what he was going to have to do. But to be his disciples and to be the followers who were there, who felt like they had all of this hope when they were so stricken, so overcome by their loss, by Rome, they just felt oppressed. They wanted to be free. They wanted this king ruler to come in and to take over and to set them free the way that they wanted. And what they didn't realize is that was not what they needed. And that was not why he was there. One thing with that song in our last song, the general theme is that security, the unchanging, non-waving, never movable security that we have in Christ. Our last song is, is a new one for us called Christ the Sure and Steady Anchor. And we've kind of been working through that to this point. As we go into our, our Lenten season, season of reflection, and introspection. To what do you hold your faith? Where is your security? Christ, the sure and steady anchor in the fury of the storm, when the winds of doubt blow through me and my sails have all been torn, in the suffering, in the sorrow, when my sinking hopes are few, I will hold fast to the anchor, it shall never be removed. God is never changing. He is as he has been, as he will be. And we can hold that, we can hold it fast. It is an anchor that will never be lifted. It will keep us no matter how bad the storm gets and we are secure and we are safe. We will not be overturned. The waters will not overtake us, for we are secure with a steady anchor that will not be removed. Hallelujah. So if you will, stand and let us praise our great God, who is our steady anchor, who gives us our assurance, in whom we can feel secure and safe because he's done all of that for us and more.
Just the sure and steady end.